In this demonstration, we are going to see some of the basic functions offered by Synchro SVN client. In our scenario, the rest of the team already works on a project stored on a remote repository. We start by adding it to our list of repositories. We input the path to the repository location and authentication credentials. We choose to store the authentication data for future use. Since we need the latest revision from the repository, we are checking out the repository trunk. We need to show more information at the same time, so we activate the flexible layout feature. Now we are free to move around the views and arrange them as we prefer. Using an external tool, we modify personal.xml and personal.xsd files. When returning in Synchro SVN client, the application does an automatic refresh of the working copy. All local modifications are highlighted. A summary of the modified resources is presented here. Synchronous VN Client comes with built-in text editors, having syntax highlight support for different types of files. We want to make some minor adjustments to one of our CSS files. We'll use Synchronous VN Client's built-in editor to perform the changes. We need to stay in sync with the rest of the team. A synchronized operation is required. There are incoming, outgoing and conflicting changes. We can switch to different working copy modes to see each of these categories of changes. First, we'll take care of the conflicting change. Synchronous VM client comes with advanced built-in diff and merge editor to help you find what has been modified by other team members. We quickly navigate through the changes to see what part of the document has been modified. Double-click the conflicting line compares the two versions of the file using a smaller granularity algorithm. Since this is just a pseudo-conflict, we accept incoming changes, save the file and mark it as merged. Now, the file state changed to outgoing. We commit our changes and update our working copy with the incoming changes. To have an overview of the activity on this working copy, now we want to see all modifications done in the working copy. The result is displayed in the history view, which lists all revisions in order, starting from the newest ones. The lower part of the screen presents the full commit message and a complete list of resources modified in the selected revision. Let's see what has been committed yesterday. We can group all revisions by date pressing this button. Here you can see all resources affected in this particular revision. You can filter the list of resources using the tree structure from the left side. It presents the folders that compose the paths to the modified resources. Press this button to compress the tree to a more compact form that focuses on the folders that contain the actual modifications. This is helpful when the modified resources have very long folder paths that clutter the view. To find out what happened at a certain revision of a resource, you can obtain its history records. To do this, just select the resource and hit the History button. In the History view, the local file can be compared with one of its revisions from the repository.
And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.